lower later. Hello. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. How was your day? It was a little bit tired today because I didn't sleep well. Oh. Okay, uh, what time did you go to sleep? I mean, to bed? Around um, 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. is a good time. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I was in my bed, on my bed, but I couldn't sleep. Right, right. And did you work today? Yes. Okay. So hopefully today you sleep, um, you sleep well. I hope so. How many hours did you sleep at the end? Around four hours. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's hope that today is going to be better. I hope so. Okay. But the thing, I, I thought that, I think that, that the problem was I, took my dinner too late. Okay. Yeah, that uh, sometimes, it depends because everybody's different, but that affects people sometimes, the time that you have dinner. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. It's June the 16th, 2020. Um, and it's time for another English session. Briefly, let's talk about what we did yesterday. Do you remember what we spoke about yesterday? Anybody? We read about uh, cost, customs in other countries. Good. What kind of customs? Uh, traditional customs. Okay. And those customs are very special for that particular country. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, what else did we talk about? Now, were those customs, religious, uh, traditional, cultural, what are, what kind of customs did we mention yesterday? Who remembers? And we talk about the, uh, uh, well, uh, Argentina. Okay. Uh, is is uh, the same unique custom uh, of here in El Salvador at the end of the year. Right, right. So w what is a traditional uh, New Year's Eve in El Salvador? Anybody? Being with being with the family and take a special dinner. Okay. Fireworks. Fireworks. Yes. People dance, sometimes you receive presents. So same thing in Argentina. People visit houses, they have a supper or a nice dinner, fireworks, and they go to sleep until the following day. Yeah. Okay. Any questions or comments? Uh, Foster, can you hear me? Do you guys remember Foster's question yesterday? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what was your question about the listening about carnival? Oh, uh, that every answer I put, I put in. in uh, Everything was wrong. Okay, because uh, I was checking the answers, and um, in some cases they mention four days, 
I don't know if when you wrote the uh, four, did you write the number or the word? No, the word. The word, yeah, because teacher, the, the... I try, I try uh, the both option. I tried with the number and the and the word, and was the same issue. Okay, okay. Let me. I have the answers. Let me see. Um, I got the answers here. And um, so like the first question says, what is carnival? Now, when you say that the platform didn't accept the answers, was it all the questions or one in particular? All the questions. All the, que all the, all all the questions. Okay. So I suggest because the platform gives you uh, different ways that you can answer. Um, just make sure that when you finish uh, uh, an answer, you write a period or um, make sure that if, 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 you, if the answer involves numbers, don't write numbers, write the, the word. Like if the answer is four days, write F-O-U-R, don't write the number four. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if you're very, uh, confirmed that your answers are good, it, it has to be something with the spelling. So try to uh, write your answer in a different form and, and, and let me know if that still gives you uh, uh, an error. Okay. Because I was, I was checking the answers and the platform gives you like four different ways to answer the same question. So maybe your, your answer was a little bit different than the options that the platform has. So, but if the problem persists, let me know and I I'll, and I'll can see uh, in, in more detail what the problem might be. Okay. Yep. Okay, um, are there any questions about yesterday? I guess not. Oh, no. Okay, so we have mentioned several times that we have 12 tenses, 12 grammatical tenses in English. So one of today's topics, um, they will talk about past, present, and future. Now, when you speak about uh, present, which tenses come to your mind? What are the options that we have? Like, like if someone is telling you, look, uh, I want to visit your country, El Salvador. Tell me how it is. How will you describe El Salvador if you need to use the present? How will you do it? Make it, it have. Okay, it has. It has. Okay, so you would use simple present. Uh -huh. What other options are there to speak about if you want to give a description about it in El Salvador in general? Mm -hmm. Somebody, anybody? No ideas? No idea. <laughs> okay. You can use simple present. You can use present continuous to give a description about El Salvador. Now, if you talk about El Salvador 10 years ago, which structures will you use? Past. You, okay. Which past? Simple pass. Simple pass is an option. What's another option that we have to talk about past events? Anybody? Past continuous? Past continuous is another option, yes. 
what is the one that we use to talk about things you did in the past but you don't do anymore? Used to. Used to is correct. So you can you can use simple past, past continuous, and you can also use used to. Good. Now, if you want to talk about future, what options do you have? Simple future. Simple future. What is another option? Future continues. Future continues, right. And what is the name of the tense uh, when we talk about finished actions in a particular time in the future? Will. Uh, you can use will for the simple future, but if you okay. talk about uh, finished activities in a particular time in the, in, the, in the future. So if you say, in dos años, habré terminado la universidad. How will you say that in English? Mm -hmm. How will you say that in English? In two years, habré terminado la universidad. In two years, I will, be, I will be ending college. Okay, I will be ending college. That is future continuous, which is good. Another option? Future perfect. Future perfect. How will you say that in English? Uh, uh, the, the sentence that Foster gave, but put it in the future perfect? He said, I will be finishing university. How will you say that in the future perfect? Anybody? I have will. I will have. I will have. I will have finished my university in two years. So that is how you uh, how you use it. So let me show you this. All right. So here we have a conversation. Some of you already might have seen it. Yes. Okay, do you see the conversation? I can see yes. clear the, 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 the writing. Right, yes, it, it's not clear. And I tried to look for it uh, in another place and, I, and I, I couldn't find it. Okay, what do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? Uh, buildings. Okay, buildings, what else? People walk in the street. Okay, the street. okay. People are walking on the street. Okay. And there are two people on the other side of the building. What do you think they're talking about? What is the conversation they're having? Any ideas? What, what is the name of the conversation? The neighborhood has changed. The neighborhood has changed. Okay, this neighborhood has changed. Okay, let me ask you the following. Are you in the same neighborhood um, where you were when you were a kid? Yes. Yes. Good. So you have never moved? Me, okay. yes. I moved for a year and I and then I returned to the, the, the place when I was a kid. Okay, good, very good. So, you know, like the ones that are still in the same place where you were as a kid, you know, you guys are, are lucky, you know, because uh, usually it's because you don't have to move or like she just said, you know, I go and but then I ended up coming. Okay. So um, I'm going to read the conversation just to make sure that everybody understands what we have in that conversation. 
So we have Tanya and we have Matt. So just, just follow the conversation. So it goes like this. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon, there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Any questions about what I just read? Is everything clear? What's the meaning of nowadays? Nowadays means now, currently. Up to now too. Nowadays, like what we see now. Okay. Yes. Anybody like else? Actually. What is it? Like actually. Actually, you know, the word actually functions a little bit different in English. Actually, you use it in English when you want to clarify or when you want to make corrections about something. So if I said, your name is uh, Beatrice, you said, actually, my name is uh, Carla. So you're correcting me. Or you see your uh, you, uh, uh, a friend from high school said, hey, uh, you live in Soyapango, don't you? Actually, not anymore. Now I live in Santa Tecla. So you use actually to make corrections or to clarify information. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? In the third uh, line? Line, no, third uh, paragraph of Tanya. Okay. Uh, she said, yeah, and they, and they tearing what? down. Tearing down. Okay. Yes. That, that is. Uh, uh, oh, tearing. Okay. The, this one in particular, it's a synonym of destroying. Uh, destroying so a, a building. Right. Right. They're tearing down. Yep. That's the meaning of it. Any other questions? Okay, so when we analyze the first time Tanya speaks, this neighborhood sure has changed. Which tense are we talking about? <clears throat> What's the tense? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Present perfect. Person perfect is correct. Yes. Then the second one says, I know a few years ago, not many people lived here. What was the tense there? Simple past. Simple past. But the population is growing so fast these days. What's the conversation? Thank you for the image. Who sent it? Okay, anyways, but that's, that's no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah, it seems like there is a construction site on every corner. What's the tense? It seems like there is a construction site on every corner. Present. Yes. Simple present. Simple present. Okay, now we say, remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? What's the tense? Past tense. Past, uh-huh. Now it's a multiplex cinema, simple present. And then Tanya says, yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. What's the tense there? Person continues. Uh-huh. They're going to build a shopping mall. 
future. Future, yes. And soon there will be just malls and parking lots. What's the future. tense? Future, exactly. Future. Future. That's because everyone has a car. What is the tense there? Present. Present. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Fast. Fast. And nowadays, they drive. Present. 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 All right, good. Now, what can you say about El Salvador 15 years ago? 2005, what can you say? What, what comes to your mind when you see El Salvador in the year 2005? There was less cars. Okay, there were less cars. There were fewer cars. Yes, that's for sure. What else? The kids are still is still play in the street, and now they have a smartphone and tablets. Good. So children used to play on the streets. Now they use tablets. Very good. Someone else in Salvador in the year two thousand five. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, there were there were not too much uh, violence. Okay, so there wasn't too much violence. All right. So you said there, there were. Uh huh. Tell us. There were being there won't be uh, fields to play in the city. Okay. I, in which tense are you using, Jaime? Uh, future. Okay, future, good. So uh, this is where I wanna get. When you're having a, a normal conversation uh, with a person that doesn't speak Spanish or even if the person speaks Spanish, when you're speaking, you make a combination of 12 tenses without thinking, the same way you do it in Spanish. You talk Spanish, you make a combination of different tenses. And um, the idea is that you guys do the same in English. Now, if we talk about El Salvador now, what can you say? The things are more expensive. Sure, things are more expensive. What else? There's traffic every day in the week. There is traffic every day in the week. That's for sure too. One more fact about El Salvador now. Somebody, anybody? There are, there are more vandalisms. Okay. There's more vandalism. There's much crime. Good, very good. Now, if we try to describe El Salvador, Five years from now, the year 2025, what, what are your predictions for five years from now? Where do you see our country in five years? With more pollution. Good. El Salvador will have more pollution. What else? Maybe we, we have more buildings and the city is going to be bigger than we know now. Oh, good. You know, we will have more buildings. Uh, the city is going to be bigger. Okay. Someone else. More traffic cars. Yeah, more traffic, more cars, more pollution, more angry drivers, more everything. All right. Anybody else wants to say something about what we might have in five years? No? Okay, so let me show you this. I know you saw this in the platform. 
Okay, can you see what I have there? Time contrast. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. so we have past, we have present, and we have future. No, not yet. Okay, um, can everybody see it? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so I need a volunteer to read uh, the information that we have about past, please. One volunteer. Me, me. All me. right, go ahead. A few okay. years ago, not many people lived here. People used to shop at grocery stores. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Good. Okay, so if you talk about, let's say, I live in Lourdes. A few years ago, not many people lived here. And that is true. People used to shop at grocery stores. And 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Do you agree with these three sentences? Yes. Okay. All right. Any questions about how to use information in the past? The pronunciation of walk, walk. Uh, the different with the with the walked. it's a it walk remember the rule if the termination of the verb doesn't have vibration when you pronounce then the ed sounds like a t so the past okay. tense of walk is walked what? yes so you say, you know, we went to uh, Metro Centro, and how do you get there? There is no public transportation. Oh, we walked. We walked. Yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions uh, related with the past forms? Okay, so I need another volunteer to read the present. Me teach. Okay, please. These days, the population is growing so far, so so fast. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Good. Thank you. Any questions about pronunciation or or meaning of vocabulary? What is the meaning of instead? Instead. 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 Um, Imagine I have $20 and I'm supposed to buy milk for my kids, but instead I gave it to a friend. So instead is the word that you use when you want to express that you did something that you were not supposed to do or vice versa. You didn't do something that you were supposed to do. In Spanish, we call it en vez de, instead. Any other questions about the present? So if you, if you see the first sentence says, these days the population is growing so fast, that is present continuous. And then the second one and the last one Today, people shop at supermarkets. That is simple present. Okay, so I need the last volunteer to read the future sentences. Somebody? Me? Yes, me. Okay, go ahead. Um, ladies, ladies first. Ladies first, good. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. okay. Soon there will be a lot of shopping malls. And 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going even more. Okay, good. Thank you. So there will be a lot of shopping malls. That is simple future. People might buy groceries by computer. Might doesn't apply anymore because you can buy groceries by computer now. And the last one says, in the future, people are going to use cars even more, which is true. Um, any questions or comments about any of the three portions that we just read? No? 
Okay. So I will give you some. Uh, let's do this here. All right. So here you are going to make a combination of different uh, tenses. As a child, I used to, five years ago, I, nowadays, I, next year I'm going to, in five years I'll, in 10 years, I might. So let me send you, um, is this, um, take this picture. All right, so um, I just sent you this image, the one that you're seeing right now in the in your screen. I just sent it to the WhatsApp chat. It's going, it's loading. Okay, or you can take it from here if you wish. So let's see how many people we have today. We got 12, going to make six pairs. So you and your partner, you discuss these six questions. Are the instructions clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, so you guys have the images in your cell phones and computers. Okay, let Hi. me move Victor. Three. Right. Hi. Okay, so um <clears throat> can you hear me, Ricardo? Right now, yes, because I was connecting my cell phone because I don't have audio from my computer. Okay, because you're supposed to be in room one with Henry and Veronica.
a car. <laughs> yes, I didn't have a car. This a, a, okay. I didn't have a car. No way. What do you prefer? Didn't have a car? I didn't have a car. Five years ago, I didn't have a car. Or no way. Yes, this is good. Okay, uh, continue. Number three. Nowadays, I. I. This have, is this is uh, present. I have a I have a house. Yes. What day I have a house? In your case? Nowadays I study English. Ah, okay, excellent. Uh, the next one? Before, next year I'm going to Yes. This is future. Uh, the future, Ex mm, exactly. Next year I'm going to in another jet. Because uh, the, the, um, the time is very dangerous now. Okay. Um... In 10 years, I might graduate. I will be graduate or I don't know, maybe I have my own clinic. Might be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Are you a doctor, Jennifer? <laughs> I'm not a nutritionist. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Next next year I'm going to try uh <laughs> I might nieto como se dice <laughs> grandchildren grandson my grandchildren yeah my <laughs> Okay How many, how many children do you have now? I have two boys. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But my first boy has 18 years. Okay. Yes, in 10, 10 <laughs> years maybe. Children. Oh, I'm not so sure yet <laughs> about that. <laughs> you better you want... think about it. Yeah, when I used to be uh, a child, I helped to um, raise my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. so uh, it was a hard time. So I kind of have an idea what is what is to raise a child, to it's learn. It's an idea, it's an idea, but it's really, really different. It's not the same, right? But no. it was hard. <laughs> Yeah, but it's great. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, I think great. it's better because they are yours, right? And which one are you doing? Okay, okay. the last one. I might. Yes, I might. In ten. Uh, in 10 years, I might. Sorry, I have problem with the communication. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay. Is it the last one, yeah? Uh, is, yes, in 10 years, I might complement the sentence. Yes, we want to hear it. Wait, I. What is the the meaning of the I might? 
Probably. I might have a new kid. I might be in a different country. I might speak a third language. Okay. <laughs> So, so what do you think, Veronica? In 10 uh, years? In my case, in 10 years, I might uh, have two children. <laughs> okay. What about you, Henry? Henry, what about you? Or Ricardo? What do you think, Ricardo? Is it, Ricardo, can you hear me? I guess no. not. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay, sorry, I have a problem with the, my Wi-Fi. I don't have a electricity in this moment. Oh, okay, don't worry, don't worry, Henry. Okay. All right. Uh, I need a volunteer to say something that you did as a child, which you don't do anymore. I used to ride a bicycle. <laughs> okay, so you don't do it anymore? Mm, no, that often. Okay, five years ago, someone else? Anybody? Five years ago. I, I live with my parents. Okay, good. Nowadays, another volunteer. Nowadays. Nowadays, I live in San Salvador. Good. Next year, I'm going to? What are your plans for next year? I'm going to get married. I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to change house. What have you planned for next year? I'm going to travel another country. Good. In five years, I'll. I... What are your plans five years from now? Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans for five years from now, 2025? Mm. Five years. Or you guys don't use projections for your life? In five years, I try to change my car. Okay, good. And in 10 years, now in 10 years, no, it's a little bit five. more. Yeah, right. Now, yeah. if we go to the last one, we say 10 years, that's like a little bit more complicated because 10 years from now, it's a little bit distant. However, oh, yes. in 10 years, I might, what? What do you see in your life 10 years from now? In 10 years? <laughs> My God. Uh-huh. In 10 years, I might uh, win the lottery. Good. Oh. I might win the lottery. Sure, why not? So you got to keep yourself uh, positive, optimistic. Good. <laughs> All right. Good, good. Very good. Um, any questions about the six sentences you guys were practicing? No? No. No. Okay. no. All right. So let's go with another activity. And that is 4.4. .4. That's the knowledge check. So you have several options here. Okay. Can you see my screen? No. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Hold on. Let me. See what I'll do. It's this one here. All right, can you see it now? Yes, teacher. Yes. So before the automobile, before the automobile, which of these uh, different options um, are possible? Uh, Number four. Number four, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Makes sense. 
Yes. Yes. All right. Now, there are other possibilities, but I think this one makes a lot of sense. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay. Okay. What about number two? Before there were supermarkets. People used to shop at a small store. Okay. That's one. Yeah, it's, it's possible. People didn't travel as much from city to city. It could be. Yeah. Uh, people played the first time, first game of golf, maybe. Okay, so let's leave it with the first one. Then we go to the third one about 500 years ago. What happened 500 years ago, people? People used to shop at small stores. Pollution is becoming a uh, There will be probably be city in space. Okay, let's see. There will probably, okay, but remember the, the statement says about 500 years ago. 500 years ago. People worked more than 40 hours a week. Okay, uh, maybe people work. Okay, but remember that ah, when you say it's person, yeah. exactly, exactly. That's what I was going to say. When you say 500 years ago, automatically we're talking about past tense. So the complement has to be in past too. Doctor, my find a cure for the common cold. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, doctors mind mm -hmm. might no. find a cure. No. No. Now, now that you mentioned people, this, people didn't people play, play the first game, game of golf. Game of golf. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. People played the first game of golf. That's a possibility because it, the complement is in past as well. Now, in most offices today, which tense is in most offices today? Present. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So what people would be work more than 40 hours a week? Most people are going to work at, at home. No, people work more than because they're going to 40 hours a week. Okay. Now remember, if the if, if the original statement is simple present, the complement should be simple present as well. Yes. So in most offices today, what? What is the best option? People work more. People work more than a week. Okay. Let's check this one. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, pollution is becoming a serious problem. That's a possibility. Yes. Any other um, options? Compliments for number five? Nowadays, more people are going to work at home. Most people are going to work at home. Okay, could be. Most people are going to work at home nowadays. Could be. Let's check number six. Soon. Now, when you say, when you hear the word soon, which tense comes to your mind? Future. 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 Exactly. Okay, so what would be the best option here? Doctor might last one. Okay, soon doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Okay, that is a possibility. We have number seven. In the next hundred years, there's a spelling mistake there. In the next hundred years, there will be probably be cities in, in space. Okay, it's a possibility. There will yes. probably be cities in be space. Cities in space. Okay, any other option that you consider it could fit? Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, pollution is becoming a serious problem. That, that's a possibility too. Mm. Yes. Now remember, now that you're mentioning this one, uh, what is the tense in, in that one? Pollution is becoming a serious problem. 
What is the tense? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. Right. Now, remember, if you want to use present continuous for a future meaning, you need a time expression. And at the beginning of number seven, it says in the next hundred years. So that is a time expression. So therefore, that is a possibility. Okay, let's check number eight. Sometime in the future. There will probably, probably be cities in, in space. Okay. Another possibility? Most people are going to work at home. Okay. Yep. Okay, so it said there will probably be cities in space, but we chose this one already. So let's, uh, most people are going to work at home. All right. Uh, do you guys agree with all the previous answers? Yes. Okay, so let's check what we have. Aha, uh -huh. so where did we go wrong? Uh, huh? Sometimes in the future, pollution is becoming a serious problem too. Okay, so look, whoever gave the, this answer was right. There will be, uh, there will probably be cities in space. The other one, in the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure the cold. Look at number six. Soon, most people are going to work at home. And then the others, I think they're okay. Yes. All right. Now, uh, the answers that you gave are possible, but the platform accepts only one. But in a real conversation, the other options are good too. Okay, any questions or comments about this exercise? Mm, no. No? Okay. No. So, um, what is the celebration tomorrow in El Salvador? Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day, exactly. By the way, congratulations, just in case I don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> We're having classes, it's normal, but maybe we'll be doing something. But I hope to have everybody here tomorrow. So anyways, um, what is the traditional way to celebrate Father's Day in El Salvador? Just having a good meal. Okay, you're having a good meal. What else? To give a gift to our parents, to okay. our parents. Okay, so you give presents to your father, okay. What are the traditional presents or gifts that people give to their fathers in El Salvador? Long sleeves, uh, shirts. Okay, long sleeve yeah. shirts. Ties, ties. Tools. Pants. Tools. Tools. Como se dice serenata, teacher? Serenate. Yeah, sometimes you bring mariachis to give him a serenade. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other presents that you might want to mention that are common in El Salvador? Watches. Yeah, sure. Watches. Watches are good. What else? New shoes. Song. Shoes. Sunglasses, yeah, sunglasses. Okay, anything headphones. else? Yeah, headphones. Some uh, nice pair of headphones, right? Anything else? Sometimes gift card. Yeah, sure, a gift card. Now, the ones that are fathers in the group, what would you like to receive for Father's Day? Oh, you don't want anything tomorrow. A razor. <laughs> a razor. 
<laughs> Electric razor. <laughs> yeah, those are very uh, useful, very handy. You know, it saves you all the water and the foam and shaving and cutting. As a matter of fact, this morning I shaved with a with a with a with a with a blade, which is very practical. Yep. All right. Anybody else? What would you like to receive tomorrow? Some money. <laughs> money. Yeah, I think money yeah. is the best. Is the best gift. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, because if you have money, you can buy anything that you desire. <laughs> right. Right. Perfume. Yeah. A cologne. Yeah. Nice. What What kind of cologne would you like to receive? Hey. Oh, the last model. <laughs> Uh-huh. Polo. Polo. Which, which color? Blue. Blue. Yeah, blue is really well. Blue is good. The green one, the traditional one is good too. Mm -hmm. but, but blue is better, I think. Yes. Good uh, aroma. Yeah. Yeah, nice fragrance. So it's it's pretty good. Fragrance. Yes. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about today? No. Yeah, we were talking. We were talking about different classes of time. Right. Yes. Uh, tenses. Different types of tenses. Yes. Tenses. Tenses. Okay. Any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No. No. Okay. So, um, thanks for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, okay. eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Good night, Thanks. teacher. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. See ya. Good night, everybody. Good night. I have a question. Tomorrow we have we have class. Yes. Have class. Yeah, it's normal tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bye. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night.